Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In today's video, let's talk about the adaptations of rice plants. Unlike most other cereals, rice plants are highly tolerant of excess water stress. They can grow well in paddy fields, which are partly submerged or in waterlogged soil. The fields are flooded and then ploughed, so rice plants must develop unique features to grow in this condition. Number one, the cells have a high tolerance to ethanol. Oxygen concentration is low in the waterlogged soil. Bacterial activity further decreases the availability of oxygen in the soil. So, the cells in the rice plants carry out a high rate of anaerobic respiration. As a result, ethanol is produced. The accumulation of ethanol must be dealt with, as it is toxic to plant cells. To cope with this, the cells have a high level of an enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase. The enzyme catalyzes the breaking down of ethanol, reducing its harmful effects on the cells. Number 2. Erenchyma The stems and roots of the rice plants contain loosely packed cells, forming a tissue known as the erenchyma. When you view the cross-section of its stem under the microscope, many large air spaces can be seen. The cortex cells and those air spaces in the layer make up erenchyma. These air spaces provide low-resistance internal pathways for the exchange of gases. Oxygen molecules that enter via stomata near the leaves can diffuse rapidly through the tissue to other parts of the plants, including those underwater. This allows the cells in the roots to respire aerobically. Number 3. The roots are shallow. Rice plants do not have a deep and extensive root system. The shallow roots allow them to access oxygen that diffuses into the surface layer of the waterlogged soil. With these features, root cells can obtain more oxygen for aerobic respiration. Number 4. Fast in the knot growth. Internode is the segment of a stem between the level of insertion of two successive leaves or leaf pairs. An increase in ethanol in the rice plant triggers an increase in ethane and gibberellins production. Gibberellins and ethanes are plant growth regulators that can stimulate stem growth. As the water rises around them, this feature keeps them growing upwards so that the top parts of their leaves and flower spikes are always held above the water. That's all for today. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.